Hey everyone, welcome back to the Atkins Rotary channel. Let's uh, go show another tool that we make, show you how we use it, and take an engine apart and see why it's here. Well, here we have 2004-2008 RX-8. In this case, all you gotta do is just wipe, this, wipe these down. They'll go again, most of the time. But anyway, on this side, this bearing surface here is looks nice. It's ready to go. And on this side, don't know if you can see it, but right here, where it starts to look a little bit like concrete, this plate is bad. Time to replace. Same thing with that bearing. One of these is not any good either. So, let's look at the very front thrust washer and see, see how it looks. And if you, again, I don't know how well it shows up, but you do have the chattered ring right here that's starting to look like concrete when it's supposed to be nice and smooth and it's this one it's time to replace in this case I don't remember which bearing it is so I'll just take these two bearings and throw them out keep your in place spacer because when you go back together with it you'll need it and unless it's burned, that looks just fine. So we can go around, go another round. His oil pump. Granted, this is just the the very one of the rotors. But what I look at is this machining edge here, and it looks okay to me to go back around, to go back another round. So before we get tension bolts removed, if you have a pilot bearing still in it, now's the time to remove it. Makes it a lot easier to do now. This is, we make this here in house. It's, uh, it does your pilot bearing, your pilot bearing and your dowel pins. That's, so basically it's a, it's a tool that's two in one. You do need to thread this down enough to where you do have a bite on the bearing and enough threads. And there you go. That's out. Come back to this later. Another thing to remove now would be your rear main seal. So pop that out. Your tension bolts are 17 millimeter. Impact makes it easier. Just like a car, once you add fluid to it, this engine will be bleeding all the way down. And now after you got all your tension bolts out, put them aside, 
sometimes your rear gear will pop out with no problem. Make sure your key is out. seals until you know you don't need them. At least for now, this one, this plate looks okay. Nothing screaming at me yet. If you can, you do this with one hand. But slide your rotor up. Well, try to hold all your pieces over to the bench for later. Now, as far as dowel pin goes, this one's usually easy to pull out by hand. The rear one, or the lower one, this one, is usually not as nice. Just like when you did the pilot bearing, thread it in so you're not wrecking your threads. Pull it on out. Now one thing you don't want to do is take your hand and go like this because this edge and this edge are sharp enough they will cut you. Been there. pin puller again. Some of you guys with older engines, this dowel pin will be the hardest one to pull. To be fair, I have not been in this. We have, this is the first time I have been in this engine, so it's it's actually coming apart quite nicely. case I'm just feeling for your step wear right here and in some cases if the engine freezes there you have you have a floor right here in the center cast iron when it breaks it'll push the floor up 
and it can bowl. This is the biggest pocket of water you have here on the center plate. It can cause it to bowl out. This shaft, your front part of it is okay. Now, in this case, this shaft is done. So you just throw this one out and start over. It should look like this all the way around, but if you look, it's getting black and blue. And same thing with the front one here. In my case, I'm going to throw it out. At one point or another, the bearings has touched the, the bearings on this engine at one point have touched that shaft another way you can hold all your pieces in is take your your outer water jacket seal and go around it like one big rubber band And at least this helps hold in your apex seals. Can't do anything with <laughs> your side seals and corner seals. Oh, look at that, was already broken. This is where you start looking to see why this engine is here. In my case, I know why just from me taking it apart and taking it apart thousands since I was a teenager. So, let's look this over. Okay, so before I spend a ton of time looking over rotors, these two rotors have spun. If you look here, where my finger is, that should be flush with my finger. I did explain this in another video on bearing tools but if you look here where my finger is look just below that and you'll see a notch that tab is supposed to be in that notch but in this case both rotors rotor bearings have spun so both rotors are done However, you do have some usable pieces. 
In this case, we've got the oil rings. The springs underneath them can be reused. You can change them if you like. And on the RX-8, you have your, your carbon scraper ring or cutoff seal. That can also be reused. And it's like that on both sides. Um, and same goes for the front rotor. You know, keep your seals in pieces. You might be able to put them back together when you go back together with it. As far as the rear bearing goes, it's done, but it didn't spin. Well, anyway, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Showing some tools, taking an engine apart, explaining to why it made it into my shop for teardown. So, if you got any more ideas, have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, we do watch and respond as we go. So, until next time, talk to you later and travel safely.